wasn't going to do that video because I thought if I named it that I would be kissing someone's ass. <laughs> and I don't like kissing people's ass. <laughs> no, it pisses me off. <laughs> I'm stubborn like that. No, I ain't going to kiss your ass. You ain't done anything very special to me yet or for me. So go away. That's not person. I'm sorry I get to that point. I get big crushes. I do. I used to do it with a lot of the real cute cheerleaders and stuff, and then I'd watch them and see the popular crowd they hang out with. No, I don't want to date her. She's pretty, and she seems like she could be pretty nice, but she's moved by the crowd. Fuck that shit. I want somebody who will stand outside the crowd. <laughs> yeah. Come on, what are we going to do? Whatever is what we feel in our heart is the right thing, no matter what other people do or say to us. Because I'm very special. People read to me slow. Ralph, what you don't get. <laughs> what he's saying is that you guys are assholes and I need to kick your ass. No, he's not saying that. What Jesus is saying is that you guys need to stop and I'm here to kick your ass if you don't. <laughs> Why? It's just necessary. It's like abuse. No, we can keep abusing. Shh, I'm fucking these children. No, you need to stop, and I'm going to kick your ass if you don't. <laughs> what? No, that's not what he's saying. That's not what he's saying. Okay. He just couldn't do it at that time because he couldn't get enough people to get un... Mm, yeah, and so, yeah, the fish market was in full, funky, special bloom. Oh, yeah, it smelled like fish. So much sore like poor Julius on Everybody Hates Chris. <laughs> No, honey, you got to quit that job because you, you smell like fish and none of us can do you know. Okay, y'all got to quit your jobs. It smells like fish up in here. No, oh, we don't need extra stuff and clothes and stuff that bad. No, fish market is closed, bitch. It's where you're done fishing. Yeah, it's a new world. You've already, fresh fish, you are no longer fresh fish. You are now man. Now I'm a man. Remember that on the topic? I'm the squirrel master. <laughs> no, that doesn't. No. What do you? Who, that whole gerbil thing with Richard Gere. I, I, no, I don't even want to talk about it. I never did. I just thought you guys were just weird for talking about it. It's not even funny. It's, no, it's just crude and it's just stupid, and it just makes no sense. And it's just yeah, it's stupid. Yeah. No. I, yeah. Oh come on. Do you know how much? No, that would be so stupid to do. He'd probably be dead by now. Let's see. That's one awesome immune system. No, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. Why would you even pass a joke around like that? I mean, I, when I heard it, I'm like, that's just not even funny. It's just stupid. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. Even if it's real, it's stupid. <laughs> Why would you pass on that kind of stupid? Because it's so stupid, we got to make fun of it. It makes no sense. <laughs> it's okay. I'll help you through. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Spock, come on. It seems illogical, Captain that they would think this way. I, obviously. Come on, let's go. I told you he's part of the Temple of Sadie's to Star Trek. That's a, shut up. You guys are so paranoid. What? Boom. Oh, shadow of death. Boom. Oh, sorry. What's the matter? Help. Play. They're playing Led Zeppelin and albums backwards. Let's go kill ourselves. Oh, no, kill them. Kill them. They're playing. No, we're not playing them backwards. We're playing them forward. Why? Because we like them. Uh, 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 uh. You don't have to go. No, no, no. Why? Well, because it sounded cool. They get a little wasted and they come up with some pretty cool shit. Baby, don't go. Uh, uh, don't, don't, don't. Yeah, it's cool. It was, I couldn't believe it. When, yeah, when they were playing that on the elevator music on Sundays. At Fry's and Sierra Vista, I was like, oh, my God, Zeppelin is on elevator music. <laughs> yeah. Slow Ride. <laughs> they played Slow Ride on Sunday at the store. I was like, Slow Ride, take it easy. You know what that's about, don't you? Yeah, you lay down, she gets on top, and you just take it slow. <laughs> that is fun. God, it is fun. But it's yeah, that's Sunday music. <laughs> Sunday morning, rain is falling. Sundays would be less depressing <laughs> if we could. You know, you kept the Sabbath holy, listened to God, and you woke up Sunday morning doing slow ride. And then saying, oh, uh, 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 you don't have to go, no. <laughs> okay. Stay right here. What? No, stay right here. We're not going anywhere. We're going to do this all day. Because <laughs> right, it's <was> Sunday. <laughs> Driving slow on Sunday morning. I'll drive too. Some, I'll drive too. I feel good. You gave me some energy. I thought this was supposed to make you men tired. It did. But we rested last night, yesterday, and I'm plenty rested. And let's just keep on going. <laughs> Ralph, you're a pig. No, I'm not a pig. <laughs> no, no, no. Sabbath is Saturday. Uh huh. Sabbath. Uh, just do the math. It's all in the, every language has it. <laughs> Saturday, Sabbath, Sabbath, 
Sunday, the dawn of the day of the creation of the sun. Domingo, the dawn of the dominion of the creation of the sun. Yeah, it's Sunday. Saturday is the Sabbath. Yeah, so you keep Saturday holy. You guys are all out lighting a fire on the Sabbath. I'm going to go find me a new date, somebody new to screw out. Why? Well, because the way that the Earth's rotation is, it's a boom. It has kind of like a drop off from Saturday to Sunday. So, yeah, it kind of does this. Yeah, and then so Sunday, it seems more like you come down. Sunday morning coming down. Because there's something on a Sunday that makes a body feel alone. Because you get up to that fever pitch where you're all connected, and then it comes down on Sunday. Oh. Sunday seems reverent and sad. It just has to do with the Earth's rotations in our collective, connected, collective. Yeah, so on Sunday, you're easily indoctrinated because you're sad. And so the guy that, you know, wants to get you drawn in after Saturday and after you've done all these bad things because you went out not keeping the Sabbath holy, lighting a fire, doing what you weren't supposed to so you can come in and tell the Father, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I went out on Saturday night and I screwed Susie O'Malley. Oh, it was good. I didn't even care if she had the consumption. I was fine. It was, we could have had it. We could have we done it over and over again. So Angela's Ashes, that's a good movie. But yeah, I didn't bother me at all. I've sinned. I, I did more than, than think of fornication. We fornicated all day. Oh, that's a shame, young man. What's your name again? <laughs> well, she has the consumption. Okay. Do you know any young ladies that fornicate all day that don't have the consumption and need to come in and confess? I do, Father. I'll tell you because I've got friends to talk to. Okay, do that. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah, you see the whole thing about the confessional? It's a bad idea. <laughs> Why? Well, just if you're human. I mean, come on. Well, Susie O'Reilly. It's not Susie O'Malley, right? You don't have the consumption. No, I don't. You're going to have to come into this confessional booth. I'm going to have to take a personal confession from you on your knees. <laughs> Speaking to Mr. Microphone, he wants to hear this. <laughs> Uh, that never happens, Ralph. You're a pervert. Oh, yeah. It's you don't give people that kind of power. <laughs> the whole Malcolm X thing. <laughs> no man should have that kind of power. Nicker shouldn't have that kind of power. No man should. <laughs> yeah, Hitler did. <laughs> the president does. <laughs> Sorry, B. <laughs> well, they say you do. You don't really. You know who runs the place. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I know <ain't> you. <laughs> That was made me mad with that. Yeah, because they always say that. I, I, I historically challenge people. We are we. Yeah, we gonna. Yeah, because most of the house Negroes are related to the master. Yeah, the house Negroes typically are the light skinned ones that the master had gone. Do you understand? That's his son, dad. That's the whole song, Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care. My man, my master in the ditch, and he's all sad because he's. It's not. The dark nigger is, I said it, shut up, B. Dark Negro is my dog. He's singing it because he's outside in the fields, and it's a form of sarcasm. That's why Abraham Lincoln likes the song. It's a sarcastic song. The verdict was a blue tail fry, Jimmy Crack Corn, and he's singing it all sad, and the mass is buying it. It's Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Br'er Br'er. Yes. Oh, like they think, we think, like, oh, we, yes, we is, Massa. Oh, half of them mean it, the other half don't. <laughs> it's being sarcastic. You get back there, sorry, ass motherfucker thinks I love him. Kiss my fucking ass. Yeah, they don't get it, man. They're historically challenged. I'm not. Why? Well, because I'm observational, analytical, and intelligent. <laughs> I, more than Malcolm X, more than Malcolm X. And I love Malcolm. He's a good apostle. But he could admit that he was wrong. You know, in his post mecca period. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I asked that brother at the at the laundromat in, in North Carolina. You know, me and my wife, all kinds of shit. So he finally sitting there in his Malcolm X t-shirts. So what do you think about his post mecca period? <laughs> El Hajj Malik El Shabazz. What are you talking about? Your t-shirt? X? Yeah. Real men, uh, men take their own names and, uh, and, and claim their own names. And dogs are given names. Yeah. Malik El Hajj Shabazz. Who's that? The man you know is Malcolm X, who changed his name from Malcolm Little to Malcolm X. <laughs> it's really free. White people have black people out when you do that. It's a black thing. You wouldn't understand, obviously. So what's... <laughs> yeah, I got some Chris Hitchings in me. I get pissed. Oh, she trying to pass over. She tried to pass off. <laughs> yeah, they said that about Queen. You know who Queen is, right? That That's Alex Haley's. Uh, grandmother. Yeah, that's the man who co-offered uh, the biography of Mr. Malcolm X. Do you want to, okay, let's, autobiography, yeah, okay, so what do you want to talk about? 
It's a black thing. I wouldn't understand. Help me through. <laughs> Black people are my family, and I love them, so I, I, I like to learn, and I've all day. Cam, so please tell me what you're trying to express about my wife and me. What's the matter? Well, obviously, black people are my family. My wife is yeah, trying to pass over for being like, yeah, so what's going on in my son? Oh, yeah, he's pretty light. <laughs> yeah, whatever, okay. Yeah. Well, obviously, I'm white, and she's light. Yeah, so uh, apparently, I guess she's part Guatemalan and black and, and, and Cherokee, and stuff like that, too. Yeah, so she's not all completely black. So she ain't trying to pass over for nothing. She just is who she is. It's like Zorn and Neil Hurston said, it ain't my fault that my, I'm not a princess and I'm not a Cherokee princess and I'm not this and that and everything like that. It's not my fault. My mom and my grandma couldn't outrun the massive. So what's up next? It's a black thing. I'm not understanding it. Please help me through. I got that all the time in North Carolina. It's a black thing. You wouldn't understand. Well, then help me through. I'm helping you. They, they hated me in my black history classes. <laughs> Professor Hamlet hated it, but he loved it. He's like, how is it the black, the white kid knows more about history of black history than you do? Marcus Garvey, if people found a knowledge in it, history is like a tree of fruit, root, dead inside, fall for anything. And you're trying to throw all this get whitey 101 shit, and here this whitey, he loves you. <laughs> Always loved you. <laughs> so what's that? <laughs> oh, I ruin everybody's agenda. <laughs> I do. Why? Because I'm a coolest anti-asshole. <laughs> Damn, girl, you are good. No, you're not real. Leave me alone. <laughs> what? Yeah. You're real. Thanks, sis. Okay. No, you're not. You're a cartoon character. You need to leave me alone. Shut up, sis. I don't care if you do like her. I like her, too. She's cool. Okay. But, uh, no. No. She treats me like shit like everybody else does. I'm not interested in dating her. Why? I don't like being treated like shit. It's not her fault. They're shitty to her. I'm sorry. How shitty are they to you? Want to talk about it? No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, Grace and you talking over in bed. At least until we're dating, if we ever start dating. <laughs> then I'll do it all the time. <laughs> well, I like that song. The idea sounds appealing, too. But no, I, it's not my fault you're fucking fine. Shit. It's, I'm a guy. We're not pigs. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Mary. Okay, no, look. You guys are not, this is not funny. No. I'm a typical guy. Of course I'm a typical guy. I'm not your typical guy. I've been told that. I'm smarter than the average bear. <laughs> you want to spill some picnic baskets? <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Do that again. Okay, Yogi. <laughs> That's funny. Did you get that from Sailor? <laughs> Do you know him? <laughs> okay, I'm just, okay. Yeah, I know. Everybody knows you, and you know everybody. You're, shut up. Everybody knows me. I'm the Messiah B. You told me that a long time ago. We were that. I'm like all sitting there saying, I feel like I want to defecate myself, and I'm totally I'm like I'm gonna shit my own pants. Do you know who you are? She was like, you know that you're the Messiah. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I, I guess that's why the people and were scared of Johnson Park and the young man from Iraq who worked at the CIA was so scared of me. Okay, and lots of people are. I'm the Messiah. <laughs> it's the principal's office. <laughs> you have to go see the Messiah. <laughs> Come on in, son. Sit down. So you've been speaking Spanish. Bend over and grab your ankle. I'm going to grab a 2 by 4 with 1-inch holes drilled in it, and I'm going to teach you a lesson, and I'm going to laugh with another bigot. Why? Well, because that's the way we do things around here. This is the Third Reich. No, that's not what it's going to be like. That's what you guys act like. I had to do that. It sucks. And then they laughed. As this kid's crying, wondering what he did wrong and feeling really bad. Yeah, you're disturbing too many of the other kids asking too many questions. There's only a month left in the thing, and your guys' curriculum is totally off. They asked me about Spanish words. <laughs> when you're a little boy, what words would you say? <laughs> how to say? Um, yeah. Puta means whore. <laughs> Bendejo means you. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> stupid. It's like stupid. It's like, yeah, it's a vulgar kind of strong stupid. Yeah, Bendejo. Can you say it right? Because <laughs> it is tu. Tu means you. <laughs> yeah, and that's what you are, Bendejos. <laughs> Pinchy pen, pendejos. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't like you. <laughs> I'm going to teach you Spanish. <laughs> no, you couldn't be a puto. Why? Who would fuck you? <laughs> no, you're a, a big guy. I think that's a dick. <laughs> you can como mine. Or, or, or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm pissed off. Because yeah. uh, I'm a kid who doesn't understand stupid bigots like you. I'm sorry. I'm not in a real good mood right now. <laughs> I don't know. I just had my ass whooped by a couple of bigots that laughed about it. It's not nice. <laughs> and they're so fucking stupid. I'm not Mexican. No, I'm a white guy just like you. Related to Jesus. Oh, they did that to him too. And laughed. 
Well, I'm in good company. He says, get over it. They're assholes. You're not. <laughs> They'll be remembered as assholes. You won't. <laughs> I want to help them, though. I want Mr. Z. That was swank. I can't remember what that was. It was like shrimp. I think it was shrimp. Mr. Shrimp. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The shrimp. Well, no wonder. <laughs> I wonder why they named him Shrimp. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. It kind of reminded me of Billy Bob Thornton's character on Monsters Ball. Yeah, he was a lot like that. It's a trip. And the principal was just like, a, not exactly like Peter Bully's character, younger, you know, and had his class set behind that desk. It was a nice desk. It was a, that school, Tawila Junior High, was, it was like a 19, you know, 30s, 20s, 30s throwback building. So the, the, the principal's office had a nice view of these trees. And it was like, it was like those ones you see on TV all the time in those old movies when they're, you know, in that nice, you know, southern building with it. Yeah, it was just like that. And the gym was like that, too. Those old gyms that they have for my porkies and stuff. Yeah, it was cool. I liked the school. I thought it was cool. The kids were cool, too. The adults were assholes. <laughs> yeah. We moved, and I'm glad we did. I probably would have ran into shit there, too. I thought, man, we should have played in Twila. I had the guys on there were pretty cool. I probably would have played on the team and stuff like that. But the adults were, were worse in uh, Twila than they were. In Colville, the adults were cool. Most of them. Some were assholes, but most of them were pretty cool. Mr. McGee, I told you about Mr. McGee, he's the one who played the, the video feed thing about the sound of silence for us and told us what an asshole MacArthur was. Mr. McGee was part of the Batan Death March and stuff and all that stuff. He was part of that thing. Well, he didn't get taken captive. He was pretty smart. And he said that, you know, MacArthur was an asshole. He didn't have to go that far. That a lot of these people uh, were trying to do like a surrender thing, and most of the Japanese didn't want to continue the war. And you could tell by the way we were treated when we went into certain areas. Most people didn't want to do this, and that you know MacArthur and the rest of the people went too far, and they were complete dicks. <laughs> and this is in Colville, Washington, up near Sir Kirk, Selkirk, Idaho, and up in the redneck sticks and the off the Indian reservation and stuff like that. And this Mr. McGee taught this way. And Mr. Maxwell, and he was ex-military too, and he told us some certain things too. And he sat there and said that, you know, he was the one that sat us down in the class and said, you guys, man, you kids are just, a lot of people don't understand, and they call the Jews Christ killers, and they're not. And they make fun of kids, and like Jeff Strauss, and he they always talk about that little Jew boy and all that stuff. And so you never meet a nicer kid than Jeff Strauss. I was like, what's their problem? I said, just wait. What? <laughs> and he was like, oh, my God. And I was like, I didn't understand it. I mean, I could kind of comprehend their stupidity for bigotry because of color of skin, even though I was, Nathan Hogue was, was, was the one black kid that had a deformed arm from Mr. Hogue who lived there because he was part Native American and had land there, and he could take care of his kids because he had a home he didn't have to pay for. But his kids hated him for it because they had to live with all these prejudiced people that treated him like that. And Susie Hogue, I remember the thing that, God, if your sister wasn't four years younger than us, she's got a nice body. She is hot. She doesn't talk, though. She seems mad all the time. I would like to get together, and I was going through puberty, I'd like to help Susie be less mad <laughs> and help me be less frustrated. <laughs> but I never talked to her. She always too scared. She was always too mean. <laughs> okay. Because her friends, he'd come over with his stupid friends, and half of them were near this and near that. I guess she didn't realize that that uh, one kid with the long hair that always looked at her like she was pretty minute. <laughs> that he wasn't prejudiced and he wasn't just thinking about screwing her. But that's what Sharon McElroy told me. She said, you hadn't heard that song? And Rodney too. Brown sugar, just like a dark girl should, black girl should. And they go, they're right out mamas that want to have sex all the time. Oh, well, that's cool. But no, that's not why. <laughs> no, I grew up with my best friends who were black and mama was a queen. <laughs> uh-huh. So, yeah. All the, I told you that. All the women I ever saw in porno and stuff like that were white ladies, so I always saw the white ladies as a horse. They didn't have Player Magazine in black porn, where I was from. They didn't even have it. I didn't see the Latina stuff and everything, everything I ever saw, so I thought the white, all the Playboys I saw were, yeah, <laughs> were uh, um, white women, so I thought, oh, man, white women are sluts. <laughs> I'm going to give me a black queen, a Nubian queen. <laughs> and then it was like, no, women, they're supposed to be the sluts. Oh, so that's why they treat me like shit every time I try to pick up on them. They think I just want to have sex with them. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's true. well, I didn't know. That. I, well, I, I'm sorry they figured it out before I got there, but yeah, I'm just kidding. Of course I do. <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> if she wants to have sex all night long, I do too. <laughs> but that wasn't my objective. My objective was she's a prince. She's a queen. She's beautiful. She's heaven on earth. I want to watch her walk everywhere. I want to, yeah. I will kiss the ground she walks on. Because it's the word. The word she'll obey now. Not my word. The word. 
My word, if I live the word, is, is my word. But yeah, they just messed up on that song. Who wants a woman that you jump up and down, march like a dog? Jump up and down on on coming to America. Now do this. Now do that. No. What? Tell me to fuck myself. That's what I'll be doing. Hey, I've been doing it for a long time. Have you met her? Yeah. She's my nicest girlfriend. I already told you that. Okay. No, don't do that. You have a mind of your own? I did that with my ex-wife. I told you that. She's sitting there. I told you she kept telling me everything. You decide. You decide. I'm like, girl, I want you to have an opinion, too. Last time I checked, you got a head above your shoulders. What do you think? You called me mindless. Oh, fuck. I guess I did. <laughs> Damn. Man, can we start again, please? Okay, let's go over this again. Okay. I, you have an intelligent, objective, observational point of view as well. And you have something to offer that is just as potent and intelligent and loving as me, maybe even more so, given the fact that I'm pissed off right now. So, if you're not pissed off, I'd like to hear your opinion, so I won't go beat the shit out of these people, and you'll find a more loving uh, way to do this, because you are very loving, or at least I'm told some friends of mine have let me feel that from you. I pray connect and I believe in my prayer connections and I believe in what I get from my friends and family. And so since you've got such a good heart and you really love people, how can we go through and kick their butt for doing illegit shit but then make them feel good about themselves so they can get up and do the right stuff? I need your help. <laughs> okay. America's calling Harry Truman. Harry, won't you please come on? Oh, we got a bomb we're going to drop on people. No, we don't need Harry Truman. <laughs> like LG told me, the world needs Jesus. <laughs> And I agreed with him, and that's when I started moving forward. <laughs> because he's not here right now. What will I do in his stead? I'm his nephew, Ralph. Can I help you? And it was uh, the, the ministry, as I saw it when I went back, it was a two-headed ministry. It was Jesus and Mary. She's very important. She's one of the main causes and main reasons why this goes forward and where it goes and where it does and how it develops. It's Jesus and Mary Magdalene. I mean, Magdalena. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's, go, who sees him? At the resurrection, who's the one who, yeah, who's, it's the women. <laughs> because the women are the ones of faith that go back. It's the women wailing at the whales, Al Ghazali. Yeah, it's the women. The women are the ones that keep the faith. Uh -huh. The men are like, ah, oh, they'll kill me too. I can't be with my wife. And I, yeah, fuck this. The women are like, you know, oh, she's just hysterical and crazy. For hysterical and crazy, she sure is, is kicking your ass. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. What's the problem? <laughs> Oh, well, we already find you attractive and want to have sex with you anyway, but then we have to have sex with you and you're stupid. Well, that's because you're sleeping with stupid men. What? I'm sorry. i got to go to the next one. This is crazy. I'm running out of time on this one. But uh, um, I, I ain't going to kiss anybody's butt, and I'm not going to let you be hateful towards one another. I'll kick your butt, and I'll show you hateful, and then you'll hate it like a good Chiricahua. <laughs> Stop it. Be nice to each other. Really, please. This is the best advice I can give you. Well, I'm getting it from very beautiful, hearted women. They, they want nurturing. Women want nurturing. They want the environment to be good for the children because she has to make sure that everything's good for her children so they survive. And I go out and go hunting. <laughs> All right, baby. Make sure everything's cool. I love you, too. Make sure they play nice. You better not be mean to your sister. Your mom will kick your ass. I love you, son. <laughs> okay. Don't make mama mad. Dad don't, not even dad make mama mad. <laughs> no. It's, 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 it's an intelligent thing to do, baby boy. I'll be back. Don't do it. Just don't. Just listen to mama. All right? Do what mama say. We'll get back. We'll talk it out if it seems okay. I love you, too. All right? <laughs> I love you guys, okay? <laughs> this is going to be an interesting last feed of the day, but I hope you enjoy it. All right? <laughs> what did mama say? <laughs> Jane, what did mama say? She said, all good men will go to heaven if you're thankful for what you got. All right? I love you guys. Blessings and peace.